Hello folks, how you doing? This is Dark Convoy and I'm doing another video review. This time we'll have two because these figures are so tiny you need to do two to take up time. Alright, the first one will be Commander Class Transformers Prime Ultra Magnus. Okay, Ultra Magnus looks very strong and tough. He is blue, silver, some red. But he does have some issues with this uh, aesthetics. Okay, first off, his head looks like they forced as much head as they could into a tiny little helmet. Okay, it's puffy. His arms are kind of long, which make him look like he has gorilla arms. Okay. His legs are kind of long, which make him, makes him look like he's a stripper. So we kind of know what the third option of his weapon is here. It's a stripper pole. Come on, Ultra Magnus dance, baby. Okay. Another issue I have with this figure right here is that it has eight tires. For some unknown reason, they decided to add an extra tire on the inside of his leg. I have no idea why. It really makes no sense or is used for any purpose other than to close the legs together. Which is pretty bad business if you're a stripper. So... Ultra Magnus, you ain't gonna make your money, honey. Alright, turn transform, close the legs, snap them together, flip the legs around, okay, grab the head, oh well, supposed to do this, close it up, grab the head, close it down, close these things together. And there we have Ultra Magnus. Okay, his Hammer of Doom, which looks like a, a lot like the animated version of his hammer. Okay, which I don't really understand because no one liked animated, except for me probably. But either way, everybody hated animated. You can stick his hammer, the top post here, there, in between his legs, another stripper reference. And connect it like so. And there you go. He has a water hose. For he can foam people all he can. Okay, that's stripper reference number four there. He does kind of wheel. Uh, move okay in vehicle mode. Though these back wheels don't move on mine. I think maybe I have to play with them. You know, give them some grease. Hmm. And his front mode kind of looks kind of funky, kind of squished. Okay. But that's basically it. He's a pretty decent figure. I would recommend him picking him up if he's on sale or on special. Um, as for the $10 price that they're asking for him, eh, I'd wait for after Christmas and see if they don't go on clearance. Which is, I think, what's going to happen with a lot of the Prime figures. Just like they did with the movie figures. <laughs> But that's this one. That's this review for now. We're going to take a commercial break because um, we're just too damn cheap and we need to sell ourselves in order to be able to afford this show. Thank you for watching for a second. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Okay, folks, welcome back. And the second part of our review today is Skyquake. Alright, everybody knows this as the guy who died in two episodes. And later came back as a zombie. Mm. Or a ghost zombie. Or something to that effect. He does come with his Gatling gun in orange. Alright. And large shoulder blades. Shoulder pads. They do block his movement. He can't reach up. I can't touch the sky. He's stuck, folks. Um, one issue I did notice about this figure. He has swivel joints that you gotta turn in and out. 
to change them in this transformation. But when you first get them, they tend to pop off because they're on ball joints. They don't turn, well, you see, they don't turn very well. Transformation is easy. Change the legs down, put it down, close it, up, pop his damn leg back in. Okay. Go with his arms. Pick up his shoulder pads. Okay. <clears throat> Little. Pop this thing forward. And up. Close this on. There we go. Pop this down. Then back up. And then and then out. Okay. And back in. Okay. There's some tabs here in the legs. You can see it. They tap. Stay on them. Fucking. Okay. <sighs> they tap into little slots down here. You'll have to search for yours because if I keep messing with these legs, they're gonna keep popping off. The arms pop into place like so, and you have a jet. Okay. Sorry for the big hand movement. There you go. You have a jet with a heart on the top. He's a hippie, folks. Check it out. Ooh, Care Bear Stare. Alright. Instructions say that they're supposed to put this big old cannon on one wing. I don't know about that because if it's flying, it's going to be kind of heavy. kind of turns around in a circle like so. So what I do, I separate mine. And connect it like so. Looks kind of stupid, but hey, what can we do, right? Designers are Hasbro are great. Whoops. And that's what he looks from the front. But he doesn't care because he's a hippie. And he wants to give you a Care Bear Stare. Care Bear Stare. Okay, folks. That's these two. Commander Class Legends. Uh, Commander Class Prime Figures, reviewed today by Dark Convoy.